So today we're going to be showing you what is still probably the number one solo tank build in the Division 2. And we're talking about builds that you do not need to worry about your bonus armor. We're talking about from the start, you are built like a tank. So obviously this isn't the Heartbreaker set we're talking about because you can see a big old shield in front of me. And even with this shield, I still have enough DPS to take out enemies. And what I wanted to do, hey, the perfect thing happened to me. I had two rogue agents literally blasting at me. And you guys know on Heroic, these guys will eat through your armor if you don't have some type of protection. And they're not even doing anything to my shield, which is crazy, right? Look, look, look how barely they're touching me. And that's because of the build and how I have this thing set up. But this build isn't all about defense, right? This build definitely has a lot of offense too, because you can hit about 2 million to the head when you hit those shots, right? Obviously, you need to make sure that you're hitting headshots, but as long as you can aim efficiently, 2.1 million, 2 million when you do land those headshots, and that's why this thing is an absolute monster to use because at 2 million a shot, you will end up chipping away at that armor. But that's enough talking. Let's get into the build. So for the build, we are running the Liberty Desert Eagle. Now, if you don't have the Liberty, well, you can swap this out for the Regulus. If you don't have the Regulus, well, you could probably try to just swap it out for a regular Desert Eagle. But the reason why the Liberty is so good is because of the talent it has. Now, at full stack on this build, I'm at 517,000, and that's pretty impressive. And this is full 30 stack with the backpack, and you'll see why. It hits grant 2% weapon damage. Now, it stacks up to 30 times, so that means you can have up to 60% extra weapon damage on this build but look at this headshots consume all the stacks repairing your shield by three percent per stack so that's why you can keep your shield up the bulwark shield up forever and there's usually no reason it should ever go down and this makes this build such of a tank now for the first gear piece we are running the punch trunk mass we have 1.8 million armor on this build so we do have two red rolls we do have 20 percent pistol damage from the punch trunk mass the 15% weapon damage, 20% headshot damage, 8% weapon handling, which I think is amazing, especially for the Desert Eagle, and then 10% headshot damage mod on here. And that is what we are running for the mask. For the chest piece, we have our first piece of Bulwark, and the good thing about this chest piece is now you can farm this in the open world. So the two piece gives us that 10% total armor, the three piece gives us 1% armor regen, plus 50% shield health, and then the four piece makeshift repairs. Whenever you or your shield takes 20% of that amount, it's repaired to both. So your shield and yourself, and that's what's actually really good about it. Now it has armor, we have headshot damage, and then we have a headshot damage mod. And then look what the chest piece talent does. It says increase makeshift repairs from 20% to 30%. So now you get 30% of the amount is repaired to both you and your shield. So even if you're taking shots in the back, a lot of times you will repair yourself because of makeshift repairs. And that's what's actually really good about this. For the holster, we are running the second piece of bulwark and this gives us armor and headshot damage. Our third piece of foundry, armor and headshot damage. And then the gloves is our fourth piece. So we have armor and headshot damage. So for all four pieces of the foundry, we have armor and headshot damage, plus the headshot damage mod on the chest. And then obviously we paired this with the backpack. The backpack is so good is because it's a memento backpack. And let me just show you real quick the, the armor regen before it resets. So at full armor regen, it's at 70,000 armor regen, which is incredible on this build. And the memento backpack is always going to be one of the top pieces for solo players. Because it has weapon damage, armor, and skill tier, you get three different cores allowing you to make your build that much stronger on three different fronts. So we have headshot damage rolled on here and then kill confirmed is so clutch. You guys saw my Desert Eagle is at 517,000 and I'll try to show you guys once the stack wears off and that's because we have the 30 stack. We have kill confirmed down here so every time we do pick up a red core, we're getting 10% extra weapon damage. We're getting 50% extra bonus armor. Plus, we're getting 5% skill efficiency. And on top of that, at max stack, we have 3% armor regen. We have 30% skill efficiency. So that's great for the turret and my shield. And then we also have 30% weapon damage. And that's why once we have that full 30 stack, you see how much damage we're able to put out, even with the two red core build with five blues. Now for the shield, we do, we do have the bulwark shield and we are at tier six 
we have 120% active regen, 400% shield health, and 40% holster regeneration for being at tier 6. So that puts us at active regeneration of 175,000, 14.8 million health points on the shield, and then the holster regeneration is 185,000. So that's why this stays up. And then we pair that up with the drone, which is at tier 2. And look at that. We have 28,000 damage. The duration is 230 seconds, so it should stay up the whole time. And the health is 1.3 million. So every time we're at full stack, it just gets stronger and stronger. Every time we pick up trophy, this also gets stronger. So that's why it's so good. So if you guys have any questions about the build, the build is an absolute monster. Still one of the better tank builds, solo tank builds. If you guys are struggling at doing control points, this is probably going to be an easier one for you guys to put together. If you don't have the punch drunk mask, just put a regular DNH mask on there. For now, it'll come with weapon damage. You can put headshot damage, weapon handling on there. And then obviously you can um, put a headshot damage mod. So that's just something you guys can add after the fact. So if you guys have any questions on this, hey, let me know. This is my go-to build for being a solo tank. And especially with the expertise system out right now, this is a great way for you to level up those proficiency ranks on these green gear sets using different builds. So we're gonna wrap up the video here. Appreciate the support, appreciate the love. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, nothing must